I'm here at the Georgia Fair site, just enjoying the weather and the birds that are outside today, and thinking about how crunchy I feel lately. I've been sitting at my computer a ton, as you might also be, and I just feel like I'm almost perpetually stuck in this shape, which is either sitting in a computer shape or transitioning into full golem shape. I'm not sure where you're at at this point. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I'm various states depending on the day. So today we're gonna do a little combating ah, of the hunch crunch. We're gonna combat that and learn what it feels like to stand up again and say hello to the world. So if you are ready, what you're gonna need is a yoga mat or a squishy floor. Whatever you prefer, we're gonna do some standing up work and a little bit of laying down work as well. So if you're ready, come on over to your mat, face me, and let's get started with a couple of little shoulder rolls. Warm it up nice and gentle. As you do your shoulder rolls, plant your feet into the ground, grip the ground with your feet, with the pads of your foot, your first knuckle of your toes. Feel yourself being grounded as you stand up nice and tall and roll your shoulders. Let's switch to a full arm circle all the way up and around, reaching back behind you as you go. The biggest arm circles you've ever done in your life. If you want to even pull your chest up and look towards the sky as you do it. Take in the whole universe as you give me two and one of those. I'm gonna switch sides so you can see me. What we're gonna do is again, plant your feet into the ground, grip the ground with your feet, and reach up nice and tall, and then arch your back as you sweep your hands down an invisible wall all the way to the bottom, and then bend your knees and roll on up. Reach your arms nice and high, sweep the floor, the wall in front of you, come all the way down, and then roll your way back up. Let's do that two more times. Reach, 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 sweep the wall, paint that wall in front of you, come on down, roll on up. Nice big inhale as you reach up towards the sky, and then, oh, take it on now, one last time. Bend your knees and roll on up. We're going to do that four more times, except this time we're going to add in a fancy little extra back arch. So it's going to look like this. Arms up, sweep it down, roll it up till you are almost standing and you feel your butt tuck forward. Then take your hands, flip them palm side out, and give me a little extra back arch at the top. Let's do it together. Here we go, nice and planted. Sweep that wall, paint that wall in front of you all the way down. Bend your knees, roll almost all the way up. Flip your hands out, Ooh, extra back arch. Boom, there we are back at the top. Let's do it again, sweep it down to the ground. Bend your knees, roll on up. Flip your hands out, <sighs> little back arch. Woo! Again, sweep it on down. As you get to the bottom, bend your knees, roll on up. If you're feeling sassy, you can give it a little wah, snap up at the top. Sweep it on down last time. Bend your knees, roll, flip your hands. Little back arch, your way all the way up. Cool, turn your face towards me again if you're not already. And let's give you some good side twist action. Woo, hula, hula. Feel free to get creative with your arms. You can follow your gaze around if you like, or you can stay looking at me if that helps you not feel uh, quite as such an exciting seasick feeling. We like to take it back and forth. Excellent. If you want to do something fancy with your arms, flip them around. Reach them up in the sky. Reach them over your head. Play with it a little bit. Excellent. All right, we're gonna come here to center. 
and rest, plant your feet again, nice and firm, and then just take your upper half, put your fingertips on your shoulders, and just give you some straight twists. Concentrating on keeping your hips forward and just twisting from your upper body. So much of that impact, that forward crunch, comes from a tightness in the ribs and the little serratus interior. Those are your tiny little muscles that sit right on top of your ribs. Uh, and they're actually muscles in between your ribs that expand and contract when you breathe. So we're gonna work on our twist to help encourage those to rest as well. Come back to center. This time, take your lunge this side. My right foot's forwards, my left foot is back. And we're going to reach and round forward, bend your front knee. Then come on up, chest to the sky, arms wide open. Round it down, round as your back can get, nose towards your knee. Then bring it up, nice big deep breath here. Round it on down. This is basically a good standing cat cow. Open it up, arms nice and wide. Let's do one more. Round it forward. Touch your hands together. Then bring it up nice and open. Oh, that feels good. Let's take it to the other side. This time enough knee is bent and I'm gonna do the same thing. Round forward and up, chest up to the sky. Round it forward, around your back as much as you can, then pull open, chest to sky, back arch. Again, round it forward, reach forward, reach out in front of you. Pull it back, feel the muscles in between your shoulder blades tightening together. One more time, round it forward, and then bring it back for a nice little back arch. Woo! Let's keep warming up, y'all. Come to the front of your mat. Go nice and tall, reach up to the sky. Paint that wall in front of you all the way down, flat back as long as you can until you're down. Relax it all the way down. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, take your left foot back, your right foot back. Chaturanga, push up very slow down towards the ground. Roll to the tops of your feet. Come up into your up dog. Your thighs are off the ground. You're looking up towards the sky. And then push back into your down dog. First, while you're in your down dog, I want you to straighten your elbows, push into the mat. Come up into your highest high heel. Arch your low back. Straighten your knees. And once you have all of that, then lower your heels down to the ground. Very good, roll it back towards your plank position. Take one foot forward, then your other. Roll it on up, reach to the sky. We're gonna do that two more times. So flat back, paint the wall in front of you. Flat back, flat back, and release all the way back down. Come on up, look forward. Then plant your hands, take your right foot back, your left foot back, slow push up, down. Push up, down to the ground. And up into your upward dog. Beautiful. Push on back into that down dog. Extend through your shoulders. Feel all four corners of your hands pushing into the mat. Highest high heel. Straighten your knees. Remember your back arch as you lower and relax your heels down. Listen to those birds. All right, come on up, take your left foot forward, right foot forward, and roll yourself all the way back up. Reach the sky, plug your fingers into the universe, and then paint the wall in front of you. Flat back, flat back, and relax. Come on up halfway, look forward. Take your left foot back, right foot back. Chakaranga Dandasana. I think that's what it's called. Not an expert on names. Come on up into your up dog. Then push back into your down dog. Oh yeah. Elbows are straight, highest high heel. Arch your low back, straighten your knees. Relax. 
listen to me give you 800 commands and then try to just relax. <laughs> Do your best, it's not about being perfect, it's just about moving around. All right, come on forward. Take your right foot forward, left foot forward, all the way up. Reach your hands up, give me a little bit of a back bend. Excellent job. I know we said we, that was our last one, but this time we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our down dog and then switch it up. So give me one more time. Arch your back as you come forward. Hands and head down, relax. Straight back, look forward. Hands down, plant. Take your right foot back, left foot back. Come on down towards the ground. Then come on up to your up dog. Straight until your thighs are off the ground. Look towards your left foot. Then look towards your right foot. Then come back to center. Tuck your toes, down dog. This time while we're in our down dog, I want you to take your hips just about uh, hip width distance apart. And then once you feel like you've got a good solid four corners, wag your hips back and forth. Good, strong arms. Point your left hip towards the ground, then your right hip. Your left hip, then your right hip. Then, ooh. I hope no one walks in the living room and sees me doing this. That would be terrible. All right, come on back to your center down dog. Oh, best down dog of your life. And pull your left knee up to touch your left wrist. We're coming into pigeon. Ooh, sit nice and tall on that pigeon pose first. If you can and you like a little bonus challenge, take your arms up, out to the side. Really let that weight sit down onto your hip and onto your backside. <sighs> That's enough of that. Come on forward, walk yourself forward. Down to your elbows. Or if you're up here on your hands and a little bit forward is just enough for you, that is just fine as well. If you're all the way forward on your elbows, you can take it farther and take your hands out in front of you and sink it down even farther. And let's just relax for a hot set. All right, that hot sec is over. Walk your hands back up. Sit nice and tall. Pull your back foot up. Reach with your left hand. Grab that back foot. Pull towards your butt. If you'd like to reach with both hands or your right hand only, that is also totally okay. See how you feel the stretch? If you like it one way or the other, both answers are great. So right now, instead of pulling towards your butt, I want you to push into your hand. Push real strong. Feel the front of your thigh engage, and then relax and pull it down even farther. Let go of that foot. Take it back down. Plant your hands. Tuck your back toe, and then using lots of strength from your core and your butt, pull back up into down dog. Well, we're not gonna stay here. This is just a transition. So bring your right knee to your right wrist and come on down into your other side pigeon pose. First sit up nice and tall. Excellent. Now come on forward and let's chill together here in the pigeon.
All right, come back to consciousness. Walk your hands up. And once you're sitting nice and tall on your pigeon, you can take your right hand, reach it back and grab your foot. If you like, you can also do your left hand. And pull it down towards your butt. If you feel crunchy, like you're stuck in that forward hunch position, either because you've been at your computer or because you've been driving a lot and your low back is starting to feel kind of twingy, often the culprit, as you may already know, are these dang quads, are the front of our thighs that get tight from sitting and being locked in a short muscle position. Go ahead and push, 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 push in your hand. If it lifts you up, that's okay. Push, push, push. Very good. One more second. And then relax. Let your hand win. Let it pull your leg down. Let it pull your heel towards your butt. Huh. It's fascinating. I actually learned not terribly long ago that your psoas muscle, which is uh, technically a back muscle, but if you get it massaged, they actually go in from the front and it's round about here um, between between the ball of that little knob of your hip bone and your belly button, kind of in between those two areas. And uh, that muscle, go ahead and relax, let go of your foot, come back to the pigeon. That muscle actually runs through the hole in your hip. So it comes through the front or, and boop back through the actual physical hole in the bone of your hips. So that's a tricky one and we're gonna try to do a couple of exercises to really target it. So come on over, uh, you should be in your pigeon hanging out there. Roll all the way onto your butt and very gently do this little fancy move. We're gonna keep that right leg tucked in. We're gonna bring our left all the way over the top. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Take your right hand, place it over your left knee, sassily, and then turn to face the back wall behind you. Sit nice and tall, as if there's a string on the top of your head being pulled up towards the sky. If you'd like a little counter stretch, keep everything in your body exactly where it is, and then turn to face me again with your just your head, swivel from the neck. Woo! If you've been doing a lot of handstands or push-ups, you might feel a magical little feeling in between your shoulder blades at this moment. All right, wherever you're at, release your necks, relax it. Release your arm. Lean back, pull your legs out to an easy position, and then take your left foot towards your right butt. Take your right foot over the top. Make sure both sides of your butt are planted on the ground. Reach your left arm high. Take it across. So it's now on the right side of your right leg. And turn to face away from me. While you're here, one more time, reinforce that nice tall sitting position. And if you'd like a counter stretch, leave everything where it's at, but swivel from the neck and look back around at me. You can even look down at your left shoulder. If you are looking for someone to come in and take a picture of you, just like really casually doing yoga, but in a very cool pose, if you're feeling artistic, Gaze down at that foot. And then wherever you're at, kind of release your neck. Just let it go. Release your arm. Let it go. Take your uh, right foot out. And we're just going to do a little fancy. Sit all the way on our left mermaid butt. And then whoop, right on to sitting on our feet. While we're here, take your left arm high. Then bend it to the elbow for a tricep stretch. <laughs> not entirely sure that there will ever come a day in my life where this stretch does not feel like amazing. 
I feel like every time I do this stretch, I go, oh, I should do that stretch every single day of my life. Um, and then I forget, and I don't. <laughs> so, but we're doing it today. We're opening. If you'd like to think about uh, pulling your chest up towards the sky, you can get a little bit of an extra stretch back between your shoulders. But wherever you're at, take that left arm high, release it, swing it across your front. Woo! Is your body yelling at you to stop sitting at the computer so much? Mine is. But I'm not gonna. I got, I got too much to do. I'm just hunched over my phone. I got too many gardens to escape. Just gotta get. Gotta get all the little event tokens. They're always doing cool events. And it's like, there's only three days left for you to get the special thing. So, man, I don't have time to waste. All right, let go. Shake, 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 shake that theory out. And then take your right arm, scoop, scoop it all the way up, reach it nice and tall, sit nice and tall, and relax that down. Feel free to stay there. If sitting on your feet like this is just not accessible to you, you can also come all the way up and do this stretch, just like this on your knee. If you feel like you want a little bonus stretch in your feet, which is very important because a lot of our health in our hips and beyond stems from our feet, you can also tuck your toes and sit on them while you do the stretch as well. But nice and tall, chest up to the sky. And then release that baby, swing it on around. And pull it this way. If you are sitting on your feet and you think, man, this is cute, but I wish I had more of an ankle stretch. How do I get those beautiful pointed toes? This is a really good stretch to double up on. And I really enjoy doubling up on stretches whenever I can. So if you're at home and you have a yoga block or a rolled up towel or a water bottle, you can actually stick it under your knees to give yourself a little bit of leverage. And then when you sit back, I can't really do it right now without falling over without a prop, but put your knees up on something high and then still sit up nice and tall on it. And you will feel a fantastically spicy stretch there on the tops of your ankles that will help you be a beautiful ballerina circus artist with your beautiful pointed toes. Everything looks more professional with your toes. Come on out, shake, 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 shake. Woo, baby. Relax your arms down at your sides. Give me one big head roll to the right. When you get round about back to starting point, Give me a big head roll to the left. And when you get back to starting point, come to neutral. Reach your arms up nice and tall. Open one more time to the sky. Feel the bottoms of your ribs expand. And then come down into a fancy little yoga thing. And say, thanks me, good job today. Ding, we're done. Thanks for joining me, that is it for today. Uh, if you are a yoga type person, feel free to lay down. There is a whole bunch of fancy science between, uh, around surrounding the idea of laying on your back and resting after doing stretching, after doing yoga. Neurologically, it really does set those things into your system. So if you are done for the day, please lay down for at least 30 seconds. Let this sink in. You will have better progress tomorrow when you come back to it, if you do that. If you're ready to move on to the next workout or go sit at your computer again, then you are free to do so. And I wish you the best. We will see you back here soon and often, I hope. Best day for us. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.